Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your presentations, you can use the print preview function to see how your presentation will actually print on paper. To view your currently open presentation in print preview, click the file tab in the ribbon and then click the print command. In the section to the right in the backstage view, you will see various printing options. To the right of those options, you will see the print preview of your selected presentation slide. Note that there are two buttons that appear in the lower right corner of the backstage view at this point. The zoom slider allows you to increase or decrease the magnification of the print preview slide displayed by clicking and dragging the slider left or right. You can also click the zoom to page button to display one full slide. If you are printing multiple slides, click the small left and right arrows that appear at the bottom of the print preview to scroll through the slides that you want to print. You can also click directly into the number box and type the slide number of the slide you would like to display in the print preview and then press the enter key on your keyboard to show it on screen. After you have previewed your presentation, you can set any additional print settings in the same area within the backstage view. In the print section, enter the number of copies that you would like to print into the copies spinner box or click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the printer section, use the drop down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the presentation. Make sure you choose a printer attached to your computer directly or through the network and check that the printer has adequate paper and ink to print your presentation. In the settings section, use the first drop down to select what slides you want to print within your presentation. You can select either print all slides, print selection, print current slide, or custom range. Note that you can enter the number of slides to print into the Slides text box if you select the custom range choice. Slide numbers can be sequential, non-sequential, or a combination of both. Separate sequential slide ranges with a hyphen and non-sequential slide ranges with a comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon at the right end of the text box, you will see examples of how to enter custom slide range references. The next drop-down allows you to choose what to print. You can select to print the slides, the notes page view, the outline view, or one of the many handout layouts that are available. Use the next drop-down to choose either collated to have a collated printout or uncollated to have an uncollated printout. Choosing collated when printing multiple copies will ensure your page numbers are sequential for each set of copies. The last drop-down allows you to select whether you want to print color, grayscale, or pure black and white slides. Simply make your choice from this drop-down. You may have other settings depending on the capabilities of your printer. Set any settings that you want, and when you are done choosing your printing options, click the large print button at the top of the print section to begin printing your presentation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.